home support to get behind the team instead of criticizing it. They seldom hold back the Black Stars fans if they're unhappy with the team. And this certainly, this display does not fit in with their desires, hopes. from Ayu straight to the goalkeeper though well he showed twinkling feet to tiptoe his way past those training years between the Ghana jobs in Sudan with Al as his entry point into Sudanese football and that explains largely why he is back on Ghanaian soil today football effectively in this bid to reach the Nations Cup for Ghana I said earlier, a tournament where they've had problems in recent years, but they've rarely had problems qualifying. The last time Ghana missed out was in 2004, so 20 years ago. Doing excellent work. And his first start for the Black Stars. A moment I'm sure he has dreamed about many times over. Saidu, nice from him. Numa again, he's got Ayu in the middle. Semenyo drifting in as well. Kudos just loitering. Angola play Niger on Friday night in the game's other match day three in the group it comes to Semenyo chance for Semenyo he couldn't read the bounce and he couldn't take the chance and that was an opportunity because it just spilled the way of Antoine Semenyo and he just couldn't get a handle on it at all and if he had done it may well be that Ghana would be leading Here he is again, Semenyo. In good form in the Premier League, just as he was last season. Three goals in seven games so far in the league in England this season for Semenyo. Loose. Owusu. Into Seydoux. That's nice movement from uh, Ayu going one way, then the next. It was well read in the end, given the movement. And Ghana have another corner. Not as deep as he might have wished with the three players coming in behind. Headed away impressively at the back by the Sudanese defence, not for the first time today. Nice serve from Seidu. And there are a lot of Ghanaians still up. Deep across that is. Up goes Salisu. And Salisu gets ahead on it and he believes a, a Sudanese last. For something of a gentle. Angola, Niger, the other teams in the group, of course. I think few expected Ghana to have any problems. Sudan a working man present Ghana playing into Sudanese hands it just needs a moment of quality and some better passing in the final third Kudos gets on to Fatawu he's asked a lot of Seydou and Seydou has covered the ground very quickly deep cross in from Kuku again with the header at the back he's been very solid today a central defender for Sudan up in Australia. That's nice. A little bit of play down the right hand side. Into the middle it goes. Williams, it must be in. Oh, how have they not scored? Williams didn't get the correct touch. And then Kudus couldn't turn it over the line for what? All of 12 inches. And no wonder Mohamed Mustafa is getting the plaudits. How did they not score? Well, it was, surely would have been offside in any case. And then Kudus has missed an absolute sitter. Williams, no connection on it. Well, Ghana desperate for the goal. They will give them Sally Sue with the header. And it sails behind, and there will be a goal kick. And a little bit more air will be released from the blue. As the intensity 
just dropped significantly on that Sudan goal. They are doing enough at present. And after hosting Ghana, well, on neutral territory in any case, on Tuesday, Sudan travelled to Niger. Also likely to be played in neutral territory before a final game against Angola. Will those games determine a possible return to the tournament for only the second time since 2012? Last time around, they did have a qualifying victory over DR Congo, but uh, how the teams went in very different ways after that. Obviously, Sudan not getting to the tournament and the Congolese making it to the last four. Less than a minute to go. Ghana need a spark. A bit of magic. Something. They have toiled. They've possibly been a little bit unsubtle in their approach at times. Not enough creativity, not enough variation in the play. Can they find something now? They will paper over that one. Let's handball from Kudus. You can see clearly he just brought his arms in towards his chest and cushioned the ball in that fashion. And that may well be that for Ghana. There you go. With 10 seconds of additional time remaining. And Sudan may well have done enough well. Mustafa Mohamed is booked late on. He may possibly accept that. Because I'm sure in just a moment or so when the full-time whistle blows, we're going to see lots of celebrations from the team in red taking his time as you might expect the Sudan goalkeeper his team have lived on the edge at times but they are just seconds away from moving up to four points in the group and securing would be a very very important point here in Ghana, crucially stopping their opponents, of course, from taking all three. The tail from Sidan. No. Is there a sting in the tail from Ghana? Fatawu trying to play in. Kudus. And he was clipped and went down. There's a player down in the Sudan area as well. The referee looking at his watch. These are the final moments. Kudus into the middle. It goes. Up goes 